Judges, Judge 1, Egypt, Judge 2, Korea, Judge 3, Algeria, Judge 4, Kazakhstan, Judge 5, China. Huddle for tenders and millions are watching worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to all of you, Iowa Women's World Boxing Championship 2018. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we'll start the matches. Bot number 85, and the weight category, women's fly, 51 kg, and ring B on the red corner, representing Democratic Republic of Congo, Ashotia Rossetti. So here we go then, our first women's flyweight action. It pits wow. for the Democratic wow. Republic of Congo against Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Zaina Shekarovkova Shekarov. of Kazakhstan against Rosette Isoshia Endongala of the Democratic, Democratic Republic of Congo. It's going to be the Democratic Republic of Congo in red, Kazakhstan in blue. And this weight division, by the way, the women's flyweight novi, is the same category that Pinky Jangra is featured in so as always the great thing about having indian interest still in all 10 categories is that every fight could give us a clue to chances of india down the line referee uh, will give england us an lee martin in his judges judge uh, one bulgaria one of the judge two the world boxing, colombo uh, I bow judge three, world boxing championship Hungary, from the democratic four, republic of congo uh, rosette Kenya. against the experienced kazakhstan boxer jaina Shekhar Bekova. So just a reminder, we're concentrating on Ring B. And let's see if we get a fiery, explosive start to the action. Novi, we had just about everything yesterday. We had dramatic stoppages, disqualifications, controversial points decisions, and some really close contests as well. Plenty of split decisions that could have gone either way. I was actually speaking to some of the officials from IBA in the build-up to this afternoon session, and they were at pains to point out, probably rightly so, that judging isn't an easy uh, thing to get right. And I know there's no appeals process in these championships. It's something they are working to bring back to the Olympics, but they don't want to encourage needless and frivolous appeals. It is a problem. It's a perennial problem in boxing. We've seen it since the 1988 Seoul Olympics protests and, you know, the manual, uh, when there was manual scoring that has been changed to electronic scoring. Now they try to refine it, but you don't have a perfect process. So here we go then, let's see who gets the best of the action here. And a reminder, we are looking at a different ring, so if it looks like unfamiliar territory, we're in a two-ring auditorium here. I can tell you tonight, because we have Indians in both rings, A and B will be switching our attention on both. You won't miss a punch thrown by any Indian this weekend, live on Star Sports Select and Star Sports Select HD, with the main event, of course, coming as Mary Com starts her campaign to make it a record-breaking sixth world championship tomorrow night. Kazakhstan making a decent early impression here there's a bit of a height advantage or well, more than a bit of a height advantage to the girl from the Democratic Republic of Congo Endongala right jab from the Kazakhstan girl who seems just to be a little bit more aggressive in these early stages Oh, that was a nice shot as well. She caught a rocky there. Great start from Kazakhstan. Certainly the advantage. She's trying to use those quick hands to respond. Is Ndungala. A wild swing from the Kazakhstani, who I feel Novi probably thinks that she's made a very strong start, and rightly so. She catches it with a little right there. The girl from Congo. A little bit overawed, maybe the occasion Break. just getting to her. We look back at 
she got to buy Patrick, the girl from Congo, and she's up against uh, Shekharbova, who already beat Svetlana of Russia. So she's used to the ring, but the Congo girl making a debut is giving a very impressive performance, at least in the early stages of round one. She's using a height advantage considerably. Yeah, we've talked about this before, haven't we? Novi, the advantage of having the buy, maybe it suits better to be used to the surrounds and the environment. She's certainly using that prior experience. Shekerba Kova, to very good effect. And now getting into rhythm is Shekerba Kova, the Kazakhstan girl. Referee telling her not to duck. But the Congo world creditably not getting overall. We've seen some of the debutants, you know, there's been uh, defects in technique and footwork. But at present, she's giving matching her. Dongala, Rosette Dongala from Democratic Republic of Congo in uh, the red and in from blue Kazakhstan, end of round one. Well, certainly Kazakhstan with the advantage. You can see most of the good work from the Kazakhstani girl. Shaka Bakova was done in the early part of the round. That jab was working very early on. Nice one-two combination there. It was a shame, I think, Novi, to a certain extent that Shaka Bakova didn't really push on the advantage there. She had a chance, I think, after the early minute. There's a suggestion early on. I thought the referee may even come in with a standing eight count. But to her credit, the girl from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ndongala, managed to survive. Certainly advantage Kazakhstan early on. Uh, I fully agree with you. And, you know, this could be saw in the bouts yesterday also. If you don't press home the advantage, it can, you know, sort of backstab uh, you later on in the bout. And the more experienced competitor, uh, Shekhar Bekova should have finished it off. Now, start of round two, a whirlwind start as Rosette Dongala going all out into attack. She certainly starts in the second half faster than she started the first, but you can see it looks like Shekhar Bekova is almost more suited to the girl from the Congo being a bit more aggressive. The height advantage not doing any good to Dongala at the moment. Oh, and she got caught there. It's going to be a standing eight count. That was definitely going to be ruled. As a, wasn't a slip, surely? Well, I'm amazed that wasn't a standing eight count. I was convinced that was the impact of the blow that sent Undongala reeling there. She may well have got away with something. Can Shekabakova still pick up the initiative now? I don't know about you, Novi. I was convinced it was the punch that caused that stutter and it, nothing else. There's a standing eight count on the way here, surely, if this continues. Uh, I also thought the right hook did sort of... She stumbled because of that. Creditably, she overcame the pain and, you know, boxers have to feign and act very well also. Uh, but uh, Shekharbakova has taken control of this fight. She's a good counter-attacker. And as long as uh, Dongala keeps on attacking her, she's leaving herself open to counter-attacks. They've slowed down somewhat now. It was a whirlwind start, electrifying start to, the, to round two. But as we are midway through round two, now Shekharbakova looking as if she's retreating but she's inviting her opponent to come in which leaves her exposed for those quick counters the left right the one twos to the face she's definitely picking up points back just another throw forward to one of our bounce on ring a later today in the afternoon session. I want to keep it on. I'll keep you updated because, as we said earlier, the United States have had an absolutely disastrous start to their campaign. So we'll be keeping you up today with what's happened. Of course, India partly responsible for that with that incredible performance by Manisha against Christina Cruz. The performance of the championship so far, without a doubt, of any nation. Uh, absolutely, and considering that she, Manisha Mon is making a debut, of course, India's been there long, but Manisha Mon, just 20 years old, and making a debut in the World Championships, and a girl who seems to know no fear, 
I mean, in the third round, Christina Cruz was attacking. She didn't backpedal, but kept on uh, getting more points. Right, uppercut attempted by Shekhova there. And now the Congo woman, Ndongala, encouraged to keep her head up by the referee. She's rode the punishment well, but there's been plenty of it. It's been comprehensive from the girl from Kazakhstan so far. Just too quick. Ndongala not lacking in spirit and drive, but just unable to make anything click. And despite that interesting start to the second round, it turned into one-way traffic once more, Novi. It certainly does. I mean, she's bossing the bout, uh, definitely. Shekhar Pekova. Now let's have a look. Uh, she stumbles over here. A straight right, a good connection but then she also is a victim of the counter it's a definite hope she's really lucky that she didn't get a, a standing eight count Patrick. yes we've seen standing eight counts dished out for much less than that so far in these championships day three of course with you all the way through till next saturday when we'll be crowning our champions over the final three-day period which is thursday friday saturday when we switch to a one ring setup for the semi-finals and the final Close to 300 boxers here from just shy of 70 countries. It's a truly international event. India doing a marvellous job of hosting. And great to see crowds in the auditorium today, young and old. Plenty of school children in, no question. You can see the stands around Ring B already beginning to fill up. It's with the prospect of Sonia's appearance a little later on this afternoon. It's a weekend and as I was coming in, school buses were parked near the gate and the sports teachers were escorting young men, young boys and girls to come to the stadium. So it's a very good sign and with three Indian boxers in the fray, I think we'll have a packed stadium today and lots of cheering, a vociferous atmosphere, electrifying atmosphere. But over here at Shekhar Bekova, who sees the initiative, swaying, keeping a distance, beckoning the inexperienced Rosette Dongala, who's given a good account of herself, a bit lucky to escape the standing eight count in the second round. Separation, the referee asked them to separate, avoid the clinch. Now, Rosette going in with those straight right jabs. She has the long reach, again gets a blow, but side of the head. bit of an untidy third round, the first minute at least. Well, the only problem she's got here, Shakurba Koba, she can't afford any lapses in this third round. We've already seen some wild scoring. None of it, I should say, that sinister, just the way it can be interpreted. Remember, the five judges, all their scores count, and they're all positioned in different places around the ring. So, our perfect bird's eye view here that you're watching on Star Sports Select and Star Sports Select HD might not be the same view that the judges ringside are getting. So, Shakaba Kova will just need to make sure she's got a strong finish here in the third round to keep up her dominance. That's right, Patrick. And in the pre-quarter final, if she gets through, she'll meet the winner of the next bout, Valencia Victoria, Lorena of Colombia, and Viviana the Ruiz Corridor of Australia. I can tell you there's just been a big win for Canada on ring A. Hagingat of Canada gets the better of Mostarra of Italy so the Canadians on the board they had a big well somewhat controversial win yesterday as well with Vea coming through on points but we come back to the final minute of our action here where Ndongala needs to make something special happen and as she's shown no indication in the previous five minutes of this contest well seven minutes is, is now that she can do that and we're into the final 30 seconds, it's Kazakhstan and Shukabakova in blue and she went for a wild shot there, if that had connected. As the referee again warns Ndongala to keep that head up, she didn't have much choice but to go low there, that's the only way she could avoid the incoming big left from Shukabakova. Uh, but, but very clever tactics, you know, you saw her retreating, Shukabakova, the Kazakh boxer, the wily old pro, and then suddenly she pivots around and unleashes that left hook. We didn't get on target, so last few seconds, both boxers swinging away to glory, but Shekharbekova ducks very well, sways well, away a, from danger. That was the best uh, offence we saw from Medongola in the contest in the final seconds, but surely she hasn't done enough to trouble Shekharbekova here. Should be Kazakhstan safely through 